Hey, what's going on? Julian Rosen here, head coach at Wake Up Wealthy. And after helping 400 men in business really scale their business from the six to the seven figure, from the seven to the eight figure, right? To going from here to here, helping men transform in all areas of life and business. I can tell you this, your beliefs around money need to change in order for you to make more money. And I get it. Sometimes we're like, it's not about beliefs. It's about how hard you work. It's about how hard you grind. It's about how intensely you attack the marketplace. I get it. I've been there. I used to believe that. I used to believe that my beliefs had nothing to do with the amount of money in my bank account. And it was all about work and deals. Now, I've spent the last five years diving into how the subconscious mind works and how the subconscious mind impacts the results that we create. Because I'm sure you've seen the, the, the statistic that five to six percent of our decisions come from the conscious mind. The other 95% come from the subconscious level. And so if 95% of what we choose is truly determined at a subconscious level, yeah, our subconscious beliefs about money are going to have a tangible impact on how much money we make, how much money we receive, and how many money-making actions we allow ourselves to take. And really, really quickly, what you believe will be reflected back to you. Also, if you do not believe something is possible deep, deep down, you cannot affirm it for yourself. If you do not believe that something is possible deep, deep down, your subconscious mind will not let you manifest it. It will not let you actualize it. It will not let you experience it. But once that belief changes, it becomes possible. And a perfect example of this is the four minute mile, right? I forget the dude's name. I know this story is used all the time in like personal development and shit like that. But like, I think his last name was Banner. But for the longest time, the four minute mile was impossible, right? It just, it was, it was uh, physically, humanly impossible, right? Science has, it was like, it, it just can't be done, right? And then some dude did it. Some dude did it. And then in the couple years following, another dozen people broke the four minute mile. This thing that mentally people were like, I just, no one believed it was possible. Therefore, no one manifested it. No one actualized it. No one achieved it. But once someone did it, everyone's beliefs shifted and then everyone started doing it. Everyone started to achieve it, right? Your belief has to come first in order for you to achieve it or receive it. The belief must come first. And actually, if you look at your life, this is already happening. The amount of money you're making right now is a direct result of what you believe you are able to make or what you believe you are worth, right? So again, your beliefs always confirm themselves in your results and you're experiencing that now. But a lot of us, our beliefs are subconscious. We don't know what our beliefs are. They're just kind of happening below the surface. And so we're seeing all these results pop up and we think life is out to get us. It's not. Life is reflecting your beliefs back to you. And so when we can keep our ego in check, we can look into that mirror and go, okay, what needs to change? And so if you look at the most recent findings in cognitive psychology and neuroscience, Truly, our subconscious mind is always confirming our beliefs for us. And that is why beliefs around money, if you want to make more money and keep it and hold it and use it, right? Your beliefs about money need to change. And so when you can upgrade your beliefs around money, you can actually make more money. When you upgrade your beliefs around what you are worth and what you deserve, you will find yourself obtaining more of what you're worth and what you deserve. But it's gotta start with you. It's got to start with you first taking ownership of your beliefs. Have you ever thought about what you think about money? Have you ever th observed or took an audit of what you do believe about money? Because I used to believe money was hard to get and hard to keep. I used to think uh, rich people were gross and bad and, and greedy. And so these two beliefs, right? If, if, I th if I think money's really, really hard to get and being rich makes you bad, Guess what? My subconscious mind would not let me make money. And guess what? I would have these a beautiful big months where I would make a ton of money. And guess what? I would find ways to lose it or my car would break down and money would leave or I'd make some bad investments and money would leave or something would come up and money would leave or I'd have a bad month after that to balance me out. And I was like, what's wrong with me? Is it the world? Is it the marketplace? What is wrong with me? But once I really took an objective look at my money beliefs, I was like, oh, it's just my beliefs being reflected back to me right? And so a lot of us, we either make it really hard to make money or once we make money, we make it really, really hard to like enjoy that money or to, to hold on to that money. Um, and it's not because money's bad. It's not because the world is out to take our money. It's just our beliefs around money.
And again, a lot of our parents came from scarcity because their grandparents came from scarcity because their great grandparents came from scarcity. And so a lot of us, that just gets passed down generationally. That story gets passed down and boom, we take it. And so it's not your fault if you have a uh, a non-optimal relationship with money. It's not your fault, but it is your responsibility to change it if you want to make more of it in a more easy way. And you know, a personal example. Uh, one of the guys that we coach here at Wake Up Wealthy, um, he thought money and success had to be really, really hard. And we did some mindset work to shift the belief that, dude, you can succeed peacefully. You can make the money you want peacefully. And he's like, no, 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 it's, all, it's gotta be hard. No, that's just a belief that you confirmed back in your past. But like, dude, open your mind and maybe, just maybe, making money can be easy and peaceful. And he had a 25K week. He was a life coach. He had a 25K week. He's like, I've never made money like this. It was so easy. I'm like, yeah, man, enjoy that, right? And so, you know, and, and again, I've seen this in my life. I've seen it hundreds of times with the dudes we coach at Wake Up Wealthy. It's like, dude, when you change your beliefs around something, the result becomes different. Just like the four minute mile, when you change your belief about something, when you believe it's possible, when you believe it's attainable, your actions change, your mannerisms change, your level of motivation changes, and the results you create change. And so let this video be that call to action. Look inward. What do you really believe about money? What do you think about money? What emotional charge do you place on money and income and worth and rich and poor and all that? And when you're taking this audit, notice what stands out. Do you think money's hard to make? Do you think money is scarce? Do you think people that have a lot of it are bad? Do you, like, if you wanna make more of it, you need to neutralize your beliefs about it. And then you need to accept positive beliefs because dude, beliefs are changeable. Beliefs are just thoughts we've had a lot. That's it, that's all a belief is. It's a story that we've convinced ourselves is true because we've created self-fulfilling prophecies and a bunch of evidence to declare it true but it's all like clay, it's moldable, it's changeable. Your brain is like clay, it's moldable, it's changeable. It's called neuroplasticity. Your brain can change any moment. Your brain is changing as a result of you watching this video. So your brain's always changing. So why not change it for good? Money can be easy. Making money can be peaceful. You can be worthy of a lot of money. Whatever number you want, you can be worthy of that. You can achieve that. The belief precedes the accomplishment. Accepting that it's possible precedes actually doing it. And so if you felt like you've been on this treadmill with money, like you take three steps forward and then the money moves three steps forward, right? Like I get it. Maybe it's not a matter of working harder and grinding more. Maybe it's a matter of changing your beliefs so that you can meet it halfway instead of constantly chasing it. So I can say with absolute certainty, please hear the sincerity in my voice. When you change your beliefs around money, you'll make more money. When you change your beliefs around money, you'll make it more peacefully. You'll make it more easily. You'll make it with less suffering. You'll make it with less struggle. And that's just the way beliefs work. So if what was said today in this video stood out to you and you wanna learn how to use this and put it into practice, just go to wakeupwealthy.com. We have tons of free trainings, tons of uh, free resources of how to actually like rewire your mind because it's possible. Every single moment, it's possible. Um, and so we have some really powerful tools there. Um, also some tools on how to build your business, on how to leverage your assets to make more money, on how to level up your performance, how to move you know, past anxiety. We have everything a man in business needs to really dominate mind, body, spirit, and business. So head to wakeupwealthy.com if anything I said today resonated with you. So any questions, just post them in the comments and we'll create more content around supporting you and what you need. Uh, again, my name is Julian Rosen. If you ever need anything, reach out and I'll see you in the next video.